Yeah. So Michelle, why don't we start with just a few words about you, where you are in the world, what you do, just a little bit about yourself. Yeah, I'd love to. So first off, thank you for having me. We're finally here together, which is so thank lovely. Um, so my name is Michelle Lincoln. It's O'Brien actually on my Zoom. So you're going to see me as O'Brien, but married to Lincoln. Um, I'm the mom to three beautiful babies, full on, but beautiful all the same. <laughs> um, I am also the founder and CEO of another amazing creation called the Power Within Academy. Mm -hmm. um, and within our academy, we support both corporate clients and individuals to unleash their power within. Ooh, um, I yeah. love that. So I live oh, actually in, in a place called County Wicklow mm -hmm. in Ireland, and it's beautiful out today. It's also known as the Garden of Ireland, um, and it's an amazing place. It's lovely greenery, fabulous walks, um, and it's nice to be here. Um, I love it's just so lovely actually to be in Ireland when it's so green, to be honest. Yeah, and, uh, definitely. One of my favorite hotels is around the corner, Powers Court Hotel. Oh. Amazing. We're going there next week. I love it. So oh, good. wow. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. All right, Michelle. So um, where were you at when you came across thinking into results? Tell us what were your results like? What was your mm -hmm. situation? Yeah, let's share about that. What I might do is I'll go back a bit to yeah. bring you up to speak. So I think it's good for your audience to understand the back back story. So I did everything by the book. I was born and raised in, you know, normal middle class household. I went to school, I went to college, I did everything by the book. I got into a corporate job, I executed really well, I worked really hard, I got the promotion after promotion after promotion, which was an amazing experience on reflection. A lot of connections and greatness came from it. But it also got me to the point of burnout, mm -hmm. not very happy and content not feeling very fulfilled and it, it it was actually starting to impact a lot of my relationships with my partner my friends mm -hmm. and and also my kids and that was the breaking point for me I was not showing up as the mom I knew I could be in the latter phase of my corporate career and um, so ve not very happy and, and, and also quite anxious I had very I, I wasn't sleeping very well I would wake up with this sense of urgency all the time I have to get on my laptop I need to be the first one in and the last one standing mm -hmm. and I traveled a lot in the last two years as well pre-pandemic mm -hmm. so that's probably given you a sense of what my even when I speak to it my voice goes faster and quicker and my heart gets yeah because it was not a nice, and it was not sustainable. It was borderline burnout. Mm -hmm. I was getting sick. I just wasn't feeling myself. I wasn't even feeding myself well, Ava. I would skip meals and run like a rabbit, but not actually get anywhere. Yeah. And my mind and my body, but they were just packing it in saying, Michelle, this is not okay. Not sustainable at all. Not sustainable. But around the same time, I also started to have feelings of, is this? actually what it's all about like is this truly what we're put on earth for mm -hmm. which was a huge I'd, I like to say kind of a milestone or a shift for me it was very uncomfortable to feel it because I had felt very comfortable in my zone of genius of corporate marketing I'd grown up and grown into senior positions so for at that point, I was like, is this a midlife crisis? Because I'm in my 40s now or yeah, what's yeah. going on? Like, do I? Yeah. And again, as and anyone who's done anything TIR related or will journey down this, you'll learn very quickly about these kind of fear centers and terror barriers that you'll come up against. Mm -hmm. I was faced with a massive one when I started having these feelings of, OK, jump. Like I have to jump to move forward. Mm -hmm. And my biggest inspiration, well, I have to looking at my family and saying, you know what, they deserve more from me. Yeah. And then secondly was the desire for more. And it was understanding that it was okay to want more, yeah. but I just did not have a clue how I was gonna get myself from A, and it wasn't just to B, it was A to Z, like, how am I going to actually do this? What, so what that was in B? <laughs> right? What was B? That, that was not even in awareness. You didn't even know what the B was. Yeah. No, I might, even, even somebody challenging me at the time, Ava, on, 
well, to do what you want to do, you're going to have to leave your corporate job. I was nearly physically sick by the thought of that alone. Yeah. Just to give some perspective on that, that was not an easy thing for me to swallow. I'm going to have to leave this comfortable zone of mine and move into something else it was very unnerving for me to even consider that. Mm-hmm. Um, but again, I also knew I had this burning desire for more and I, I just needed to know how to get from A to B to C. And that journey obviously led me then to you. Mm-hmm. Um, and nothing has been the same since. Mm-hmm. Nothing. I love it. And you know what? I, what, what you're saying, uh, it's just like nearly when you were describing the feelings, I could feel them in my body because I've gone through it too. I mean, well, in corporate world, I was definitely dissatisfied. I was not feeling uh, fulfilled. Uh, but the feelings of burnout, that was my first year in the business, you know, like swallowing your food, not taking time to eat properly and being always like, <gasps> like breathless. <laughs> I was just like, oh my God, this is so real. So um, do, I don't remember, how did you come across us? Did you come to an event or how did you? No. So what was really interesting at the time, I was like, oh, this is coincidence. Now knowing what I know, yeah. there's no such thing in coincidence. Yeah. It was the universe aligning me with you in perfect synchronicity to when exactly I needed it. I don't recall whether it was an email because I've been on your email list for a while. Yeah. But I, I know whatever medium I saw through either a Facebook ad or an email, it was triggering the five day workshop, which you're yeah. hosting at the moment. But even at that, I was like, no, delete, delete. I'm not <laughs> going there. No, who's this woman called Ava? I don't want to know about it. But I I went in and I, with an open mind and said, you know what, I'm here now. I'll commit the hour a day. And as I journeyed through that week, I had a couple of aha moments, but the biggest one for me was, okay. And it was very logical because at that time I was very much in my logical brain, which worked for me in the decision-making. It's like, okay, I'm not going to be able to do this without support from a mentor a coach or a community I'm just not so I recognized that very quickly yeah and also then through the week I realized oh Michelle you've got a lot of limiting beliefs so things were coming up for me that I realized how do I even get rid of these I don't know how to do this Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just can't do it by myself but I was still scared (laughs) shit like I was still I was I understood I needed help but I was still going no 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 no. I'm not investing at the time I didn't even use the word investing I was like I'm not paying for this yes it's a cost yeah it's not an investment yeah I'm not doing it but again I journeyed through the week I went to your VIP day and made the decision with hesitation that it this needed to happen Mm -hmm. Um, but re- re- with resistance and a lot of it, <laughs> I jumped and made the commitment on that Saturday at one o'clock, right? That's it. I'm in fully. Mm-hmm. And even the shift in energy in myself, as that money was going out of my bank account, mm-hmm. it the energy that I gave to that first decision that I made was massive. And I didn't really realize it until afterwards, Ava, that actually letting that go and that the power I had or that control I had over the money was not normal and not healthy it was at all. Scarcity. It was not really coming from abundance. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah, at all. I imagine. But it's very liberating, right? Because you you made an investment. And I think I could imagine that by that time you called it an investment, right? Because it actually shifts something inside of your mind. When you call an investment, it's like, okay, investment creates return. Investment is worthy to make. When you call it, I don't know, paying somebody for something or debt, you're not really giving it the right uh, intention, right? In your Mm -hmm. mind. Uh, yeah. so Michelle I love this so good and I love how we kind of go with the flow with the, how everything happened for you um what are some of the biggest results uh, that you've accomplished from our mentorship well within six months I handed in my notice um, <laughs> and and even when I say that <laughs> I, I want people to understand the magnitude of getting from absolutely not a chance I'm in this corporate world forever to moving myself to making a decision to invest to go through the process of TIR 
to sitting into a conversation with my then boss to say, look, this is no longer me was massive <laughs> to get to that point. Mm -hmm. And it sends chills down my spine. But again, biggest win making the decision. And that's one of the, the modules, that power around the decision, like your decision in yourself and backing yourself is huge. It can catapult you and open up such amount of opportunities that you're not even aware are available to you. So now I'm in my business, it's in its seven month um, of existence. And it's funny, I saw your post on the 10K a month. Mm -hmm. I'm consistently at 15K now. <laughs> Love it. Um, and that again has come from, you know, if anyone, I, I don't have a massive following on Instagram or I don't, all the things that I thought you needed to have to experience wealth and abundance mm. was all wrong. Like you, yeah. you completely have the power within you to create your external world. And I was unaware of that Ava beforehand. So the biggest win is I've got my own business. It's generating wealth and it's going to become leg legacy wealth for my family, not the one or 2% bonus wealth that I would have received in corporate I give such grace and gratitude towards that corporate space that I had but it was never going to give me an abundance of wealth that I knew I was capable yeah. of of yeah. gaining access to yeah totally um I don't know if you don't mind sharing but what was the highest you you were on in corporate so the highest net I was on mm, uh border I think it was 98,000 or 100,000 so I did and I do want to respect that because I didn't I built myself up to a high level in corporate but my rationale was I had probably gone to the top and I my jump would have been not marginal jumps for the next yeah. five years so yeah. it's probably comparable ish but mm -hmm. I knew my exponential growth was available to me in my own business oh, listen it's totally not comparable because yeah. you know people think that it's all about okay how much money i was earning if i reach the same in my business or similar no it's not comparable because it's a different way of earning yeah so it's like it's very different uh mental thinking and behaving and everything to be employed mm. safe mm. <laughs> and entrepreneur very very different so no 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 i was just asking because I think it it was like it just uh, creates even bigger impact. How challenging it must have been to have such a comfort yeah. and such yeah. level of income earned through all the effort and positions and and uh, promotions to move and pursue your passion. I mean, this is very impressive. I love it. And also, Eva, actually, something that came up as you were speaking, which I failed to to say at the beginning, but what I've also had access to is time back now I know you can't create more time but I the, the feeling of my time is mine versus it yes. being dragged away from me elsewhere you yeah. can't even put a number on that like that to me yeah. is just yeah it, and it has made me calmer I collect the kids two days a week I didn't I was not around to do that I do the mornings I have breakfast with them I'm relaxed I'm calmer I'm content mm. You know there there are challenges but it's not the same it's yes. and you're also you're equipped much better because of the knowledge you create through tir any challenge you can face in a different way it doesn't need to hit you or push you back yeah yeah you're, calm. you're like a tree and then there's leaves around you and you don't react <laughs> so good <laughs> and so tell me have you noticed like uh how you've changed as a person how you've changed personally have you noticed any specific changes? Happier. The one thing I didn't think I was not happy as much now. When I look back on it, I think, oh my goodness, I must have been awful to live with <laughs> in the lead up to making this decision. And it was a good year of procrastination. And that's another thing you will learn. That's the death of any dream or goal you will have is this space of procrastination it just kills anything or everything for you but the happiness and the sense of fulfillment and contentment and also living in a space of complete faith versus this fear I used to like when it, when it came to money even though anyone's hearing this might think oh 100k a year yeah. that must have been amazing 
But if you don't have your money mindset set, that yeah. means absolutely nothing. So yeah. money and my mindset and how I view wealth now mm-hmm. and how I lean into the future and see it differently is very powerful, very powerful. And I use my imagination, this amazing faculty we have that mm-hmm. basically is taken away from us as we're children. I'm in it all the time now. I use that to bring into existence what I want for me and my family it's just an amazing space to be in amazing so beautiful so beautiful Michelle and um how long did it take you to reach uh the six figures in your business and then 15k you're not going to believe this two months I was on 10k and then it went to 12 and now it's 15 and I've secured a corporate contract for the end of the year no. that will I mean in my first year of business it will be over 200k that I will have had committed to and that's without Lovely. again I, I say without doing work it's not it doesn't feel like work yeah. it's so in it flow like, it feels like pleasure because it's fulfilling I can totally resonate you know I can totally resonate mm-hmm. and um I love this so Tell me, did you have any uh, thoughts in your mind that were trying to pull you away from making this decision and what were they and how did you talk yourself into actually making it? Ava, do you have another hour? I (laughs) had like, when I tell you what came up for me in that week workshop around, I, I would have thought myself as a very confident and competent person, but my view of myself was very around the corporate space. Yes. So I showed up as a competent producer. I was confident, but put me out into the real world where you to make decisions about yourself. All these things kept coming up, Ava, like you're not worthy. You, it shouldn't be about you. You've got a family, you've got three kids, you've got a mortgage, you have, like you can again I could go and write a book about the limiting beliefs that came up for me that week but the big thing that happened on day five or on the VIP day was the recognition that I can't do this by myself if I want to change I have to change something within me I cannot hold the same thoughts and beliefs about myself and become a successful entrepreneur no one who has ever created any success any wealth any abundance has done it by themselves so I knew in my, and that's a logical thought because that's fact. You don't have to go into woo-woo or imagination. They are facts. You align yourself with individuals who are further ahead, who can show you and share with you what they did yeah. to unleash their own power. So limiting beliefs aside, I was very logical at the end of the day to say, look, if I want to do this, I have to align with somebody. Mm-hmm. And that somebody happened to be you and the TI or material. Mm-hmm. I love it and you know whatever works like I'm just delighted that you talk yourself into it and look this is so powerful to watch you know even though you had all those limiting beliefs there was something that flipped you on the other side and look at you here completely different human being feeling in her purpose very steady calm relaxed in flow it's just so beautiful to watch um so you know we have quite a few participants that are like you back then right uh thinking they would love to do it and probably the mind is battling them uh what would you say to them this is going to be hard to hear but if someone had have said it to me it would it would have pushed me on day two just to do it Mm -hmm. if if you don't want to look back on yourself in a year's time with regret and I genuinely mean this, if you've got big goals or you feel unfulfilled or there's something niggling at you that you're worth more, you are going to regret this because in a year's time, you will look back and you will not have moved yourself forward. You'll still be in that job you hate or you'll still not have the sense of happiness or fulfillment. Life is so short. It is like we are here for that why not take this as an opportunity to invest in yourself take a chance on yourself and do it you will have no regrets at the end of it and I actually use the word chance it's not even a chance the second you back yourself the world's going to open opportunities will open we are supposed to be here to live life happy content wealth we're not supposed to be in lack limitation limiting beliefs 
this is your opportunity to go down a journey where you will learn mindset tools and tactics that will not just serve you, you'll serve the people around you. Mm. You'll, if you've got kids, it will impact them. If you have a partner, if, you're, if you've got family members, we all have people that we know this material can support. It's not just about your decision, it's about the impact that you can have. But Ava, I could talk about this for ages because this really mm -hmm. changed my, the whole trajectory of my life has changed and that one decision to invest. And I've gone on to invest multiple since then, which I never would have thought I would do. Investment to me now is, okay, I invest, I will gain. Yeah. There will be more on the back of it. There's more on the back of it. More on the back, more on the back. Okay. Yeah. So good. I, what's really interesting, I just realized that uh, my reasons for my decisions were very similar to yours. Okay. And maybe it's the corporate mindset. I don't know. But, you know, I uh, I was feeling unfulfilled as well. I thought I felt inside mm -hmm. there must be more. And I just couldn't put my finger on it. And I didn't know how, but I just felt like deep down, it's our soul screaming at us. Hey, there is more. You're capable of more. This is not the end of the road. <laughs> and and I think my biggest reason why I made the decision was exactly picturing myself at the age of 60 and looking back at my life and I just couldn't stand it I was like no not a chance not mm. not another year of this no yeah. and the minute I got present to what's the cost of not doing it and what my life is going to look like and feel like right I was just like whatever I need to do mm. whatever and I was literally willing to do what it takes because I wanted to save myself from this feeling of unfulfillment right mm -hmm. i love this michelle and i really hope everybody watching i mean michelle you said so many words of wisdom that i literally feel inspired to record the lives right now to help you make <laughs> decision uh, like seriously guys you really want to take control over your life uh, michelle said something very important about when you invest in an expert so you know, this is actually a very common behavior in other areas. You want to uh, learn to drive. What do you do? You don't drive yourself hoping for the best. You get a driving instructor. You want to get fit. Yes, you can fiddle around with this yourself. But if you get a personal trainer, it's going to be 10 years faster, right? So you want to increase your income and you want to do it within the next six to 12 months just look at past six to 12 months, you're gonna know how quickly it's gonna take you when you keep it doing yourself, right? And if you want that to be ensured, because for me, it's nearly like guarantee, right? I know we can't really sign off anything, but I'm giving myself the best chance and, and I'm not gonna settle because like just the feeling of it is just like, mm, no. Mm. And so I'm ensuring my success, why? Because I found someone that has done what I wanna do maybe multiple times, their clients have done what I want to do, bang on. It's expertise. So this is that logical uh, uh, thinking, like seriously, if emotions don't convince you, just be logical. Yeah, I mean, can I really do it myself? Maybe in 10 years time, but do you want to suffer for 10 years? No. If it's laid out for you, why would you not just do it six to 12 months, right? Uh, so we really hope that we inspired you and I am so grateful for you, uh, Michelle. I knew I, my intuition was like, this is going to be the best time of our lives. I could feel it and I'm having a ball listening to you and really uh, remembering what was it like for me. And um, I know we can help a lot of people with this. So thank you so much for taking the time. I am so thrilled for you and looking forward to following your further successes. Thank you so much, Ava. Thanks, guys. Take Thank care. Bye-bye.